Okay, so this is a video on ratio and it forms part of the playlist on the YouTube channel. Um, it deals with the question which is uh, around about D grade GCSE, so it should be fairly straightforward. Um, what I've mentioned before in the previous videos is that with all ratio questions, really we need to work out the value of one part in order to calculate a quantity. This is a slightly different way of putting together a question, and I'll write it in the description box just below, or you can have a look at MathsRap.com. .co.uk and there is a post there on ratios and you can have a go at the quick test and have a go at some of these problems for yourself. Okay, this particular problem says that there are 32 students and they're in a class. Okay, and what we're told is is that 20 of the students are girls. Okay. Um, so we've got 20 students are girls, 32 students all together. And the question says, basically, that I think her name is Rosie. Rosie says that the ratio is 3 to 5. Okay. And the question is, is this correct? All righty. Well, let's have a look at that in a little bit more detail. We've got 32 students all together, and 20 of them are girls. All righty. So, um, if 20 of them are girls then what it means is, is that 12 of them must be boys, okay? Because if there's 32 altogether, then 20 girls means there must be 12 boys. So in other words, we've got a ratio of 12 to 20. So in other words, what we're asking for this question is, is that a simplified version of this um, because ratio really acts very much like fractions and what we look to do with ratios is make them as simple and as easy to use as possible well 12 to 20 we can reduce that and the way that we're going to reduce it is we're going to divide each side by a number to make it smaller and easier to manipulate now, some of you will say, well, actually, we could divide both by 2. Okay, well, if we do that, we divide both by 2, we've got a ratio of 6 to 10. Okay, well, that's great, because then we can divide by 2 again, and we've got a ratio of 3 to 5. So, in other words, Rosie is perfectly correct with, uh, with her ratio. The other way you could have done it is you could have looked at 12 to 20 and you could have divided both sides by 4. So you're jumping out, you're missing out this middle step here, which means if you divide 12 by 4, you get 3. If you divide 20 by 4, you get 5. So both ways would have been perfectly acceptable and perfectly correct. OK, so Rosie, in this particular instance, is correct. <laughs> um, I hope that's okay for you. Please do have a look at the post on MathsRap and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Add a comment below and um, please do post, pin, tweet this video and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.